Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ryan and if you're new here, I also am pretty new and I've just started making houseplant content. Today we're going to be going through all of the plants that I have propagating in my collection. These are both propagations that are out um, on my plant shelves in either water or moss and then also some propagations that I have in both my prop bins and in my Ikea Millsbo cabinet. Um, if you're interested to see what I have propagating, keep on watching. So the first propagation that I have is the Philodendron Serpens. Um, this is a plant that I had ordered from Equigenera back in May of 2022 and it arrived with a couple leaves. Some of them yellowed and dropped though just from shipping stress. Um, but I saved a lot of the roots and I had it potted up in soil. I thought that it would do better in my IKEA greenhouse cabinet but I don't actually think that it likes the higher humidity. Like it just kind of likes regular like, I mean like around 50% humidity. Um, and my greenhouse typically stays anywhere between 70 to 80 percent or higher and as soon as I put it in the greenhouse I noticed that it started to decline. This is basically all I have left of it. It's there's like two nodes that are like down here in the moss and then there's one node up here above and it's putting out a new leaf but this started coming out before I chopped it up. So I don't know if I'm going to actually lose it or not. This was a leaf right here, but it started to yellow and I didn't think it would be good for it to waste its energy on putting, like keeping that leaf alive while it was putting out this other one and trying to root. So I just cut it off. Here I just have some burrow's tail propagations from my main plant. Um, I feel like anytime I move that plant, little pieces fall off so I just end up throwing them into some soil and here's a couple more that fell off the other day so I just kind of took the pile of them and I threw them in here um, the other ones didn't take too long to root and start putting out more growth so I have these just directly under some grow lights under my TV cabinet and I'm hoping that they just grow soon because I can make another pot or I can make the current pot that I have a bit more full I showed this propagation in my Hoya collection, but this is a prop that I took of my Hoya Bilobata. Um, these I found to be super quick growers and super quick to root, which is nice. I've propagated them both in water, in soil, and then this one is in moss, and it really took off pretty quick. Um, I also have this other like little one right here that I just put in this container. I cut this a couple days ago and just stuck it in here and I think it's already trying to put out new growth. I don't know if you can see that like under there. But yeah, I love this plant. I think it's a really easy plant for beginners if you're new to Hoya. Um, and it's a really good plant to test propagations with if you're new to propagating Hoya as well. I've lost a lot of Hoya props to rot just because I find them to be challenging sometimes, but this is a really good one. In this box, we have just kind of a mixture of a lot of things. Um, in the top right up here, this is a cutting from my Hoya Lachinosa. Um, I noticed that the vine that my that held my first peduncle was starting to like be underwatered at the base. And the leaves were getting really thin so i cut it in hopes to save the peduncle um so i'm just trying to reroute that piece which it seems to be going good we have i think a couple roots starting in there which is good because i don't want to lose that peduncle it's my favorite one and it was my first one a lot of the wet sticks that have no leaves are from my raphidophora decursiva uh, for some reason i just cannot get these to root it would just shoot off runners constantly and so then I decided to just kind of chop up the runners. I sold my mother plant because I was just tired of dealing with it and I figured if I want another one I can just grow it from a wet stick. Some of them have gotten leaves on them like in the bottom left corner but um, 
the other ones have been in here for a couple months and haven't really done anything so I don't know what's going on with them and then in the top left is another color cutting of the Bilabata. I just feel like I have cuttings of this everywhere <laughs> just because I it's just so easy to root so I'm just constantly taking more cuttings of that here is a little propagation of my hens and chicks succulent from last year um when I was growing up my grandma always had like the strawberry planters but they're full of hens and chicks and they would come out the side really big I decided last summer I was going to try succulents and actually keep them outside my door and this plant got to be pretty big but then whenever I brought it in for winter um, it didn't really like my north facing windows <laughs> it wasn't getting nearly enough light so I just took the pieces that were still alive from it and I stuck it in here and this one sits under grow lights on my tv stand okay so for this one don't mind the algae but I grew these from seed. These are the touch me knots. Um, I forget the actual name of the plant. I'll put it up on the screen if I can find it. But these ones basically, um, when you touch them, they end up moving. I don't know if you can see those leaves. They just kind of curl in when you touch them. Um, I saw this plant at a nursery um, when I went uh, I was actually at Telly's Greenhouse in Michigan. I really regret not buying it and so I went on Etsy and I found seeds and decided to try to grow it myself. They're really cool plants so if you are looking for something different uh, to add to your collection that's just kind of fun and you know not really talked about a lot, this plant is really cool and I hope one day I can have like a bigger plant like a, a real plant of this and not just these like tiny little pieces from a seed. This is a propagation of a philodendron Florida ghost. Um, I had a bigger plant of this and I don't know what I did but it just was not happy. It was putting out yellow leaves, leaves were getting stuck and it just was not really growing great. So I cut it all up and this is the best prop that I have from it so far. I have another piece in one of my bins, but um, it's starting to put out another growth plant, which I'm really excited about. But yeah, I'm hoping that this grows into a bigger plant just because I really like the Philodendron Florida varieties and I would like to see this one get bigger. This is a propagation from my Hoya Linearis. I really wanted to make my plant fuller and it seems to grow pretty fast so I just stuffed this little bottle full of spag moss and then I stuck little kind of like the butterfly method but I just stuck that type of a cutting into the moss so I'm hoping that they root pretty soon I think some roots have started but I accidentally broke off a piece of the new growth on the one so um yeah I hope these root quick though this is a cutting that I was sent. Oh my gosh, I cannot see through the camera. Um, I was sent a cutting of this outer variegated Hoya compacta. Um, I just have it rooting in moss. It was pretty much just a stick with a couple leaves on it. Um, it seems to be doing really good. I haven't checked the roots yet though, just because I'm afraid to disturb it. I don't want to um, kind of disrupt it because I've had a hard time propagating Hoya Compacta in the past. I really love this plant. I've wanted a piece of this plant for so long. So I was really happy that I got sent this as just a extra cutting, like a thank you cutting for ordering my Philodendron Glorious, which I repotted in my last video. I am excited about this one. I hope that it grows quick. I keep this one in my greenhouse cabinet. So it seems to be really liking the conditions in there. So this is a wet stick uh, of a varicosum. I initially bought just a one node cutting of a varicosum from a local seller on marketplace and I don't know why I thought that the varicosum would be a bit easier for me to grow but it's actually one of the plants that I struggle the most with. I've seen like a lot of people have a hard time just because of like spider mites and everything but I haven't had any pest issues it's just mostly been getting them to root and then once I transfer them either from water or moss the soil they just really do not like it um, I've tried them in pond I've tried them in Lekka and it seems like I can get a leaf 
in moss and in water but I just I can't transfer them so I'm hoping that um this one it's putting a leaf out now but it hasn't put out any roots yet I'm hoping that it will root soon and then hopefully I can add it to my bigger plant which I finally just got transferred to soil and it seems to be doing kind of okay it put out a new leaf but I would definitely like to have just a fuller pot of the varicosum like up on a moss pole I think it, they look really pretty I really like the way that ferns looks hopefully this one does better these are some Hoya croniana props that I took um I had a bigger plant, but it wasn't doing really good. Um, I think I gave it root rot on accident because the soil was a bit too compact and soft, so it was retaining a lot of water and I didn't realize. But basically, I just cut up the stems that had leaves on it that hadn't been affected, and I started rooting them. I think most of them are pretty well rooted, and I need to do better, like, keeping up on the moss staying moist. Yeah, it seems to be doing okay. I keep this one in my prop bin. This is a cutting from my bigger Cebu Blue pothos that I have hanging in my bedroom. Um, usually when I take cuttings of that plant, I can get them to start to root in water, but anytime I transfer them to soil, they just end up yellowing and dying and I don't know why. Um, this one I'm rooting in moss. I've rooted a couple cuttings just to be able to trade them because I feel like they're really expensive in my area still and I sometimes give away free cuttings just whenever I sell a bigger plant and this is definitely one that I give away quite often just because I do have like a bigger pot of it but yeah it seems to be really liking to root in moss and in my prop bin so hopefully it just keeps growing good this is probably one of the most random um propagations that i have i have a larger zz plant but i've never took cuttings or like tried to propagate it before but i did find this little like random nub that i had that was kind of sitting on top of the soil with no leaf in it so i just kind of threw it into the moss here yeah it started shooting out roots and then it just now started to put out leaves and it's already getting to be a bit too tall for the container that it's in so i might have to actually move this either um I might actually, it's pretty well rooted, just throw it back into the pot that it came from now that it has leaves. But yeah, it's kind of fun. I've never rooted a ZZ plant before and I didn't know if this would work just because I'm not as familiar with how like the rhizomes work. So yeah, kind of fun. Okay, so here I have my biggest prop bin. I just used a plastic container with clear lid and sides but I take a lot of Hoya cuttings because they're really good for trades in my area and I just like I said I like to give away cuttings of Hoya whenever I sell a larger plant um just because I think it's like nice to get like a little bonus sometimes and it can really cheer somebody up too so um down here I have Hoya Wyetii I had these tags but I wrote on them with chalk marker which wasn't a good idea um, but this is my Wyetii. I took cuttings of it to put in here, um, both to make my pot fuller and to have some for trades. Over here, I have some Hoya Curtisii. My pot is growing like crazy, and I thought, like, I've never really propagated a small leaf Hoya, at least not as small as these leaves, so I wanted to see how it would do. Um, back here, okay, I have a fuzzy petiole that I got from a local nursery. And ever since I brought it home, it just hasn't done well. The leaves, they just keep getting stuck and it just keeps putting out like these like weird like node chunks in the middle. I don't know, I just, I don't know if anybody else has issues with the fuzzy petiole, but it, I don't think it's a plant for me. I don't think that I would rebuy this plant just because I've struggled so much with it. Um, it initially had spider mites, which I don't know if that is part of the issue, but you can see it has like some damage on these leaves just from having them in the past. But yeah, it just was really frustrating dealing with that plant, so I just cut it up and threw all of the pieces in here. Um, over here I have cuttings of Hoya sipitangensis. I've noticed that that is one of the Hoya that isn't as common in my area that a lot of people seem to get excited when I just throw a cutting in uh, with whatever they buy for me. 
yeah it's such a pretty hoya and i think it grows really quickly and yeah i just i really like the leaves they're kind of thin but they still have that kind of more lichenosa shape to them down here you already know this is cuttings of the bilabata like i said i'm just constantly cutting this um hoya up and throwing the pieces in different prop bins because it roots super quick and that's another one that I think is just easy, especially when people are new to Hoya. Um, back there, I have cuttings of my Hoya Matilde. Um, I really want to have a super full lush pot of that plant because I just absolutely love that Hoya. It's one of my favorites. I just took some cuttings of my bigger Hoya, um, the one that wasn't doing as hot as at first, and I put them in here so that way I could root them and make it fuller. And then along the side over here, I have a cutting from my Melanochrysum. Um, I don't know what about this plant is making it so hard for me to grow it, but I have like an established cutting and it's rooted in soil and I immediately put it on a moss pole. Even with the moss pole, it started putting out more of like this runner and the leaves are super tiny and they get really stuck. So I moved it to my greenhouse cabinet because I thought it would be better and it didn't seem to get any better. So I just cut the top off and I'm hoping that my base plant will put out another growth point and maybe I can get this one to root again, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I might just give it away to somebody. This is an Alocasia cupria. Oh, it's starting to root already. I literally just put this in here the other day. Um, I bought this plant recently and right when I got home, I repotted it and I put it into LECA from soil. That was probably not a good idea. It immediately dropped all of its leaves, except for this one right here. And it just was not happy at all. So I pulled it out of the LECA, I cut most of the roots off, and then I stuck the corm in here with this one leaf until it decides to die off completely. I, I really love this plant, so I hope that I can bring it back from the corm, and I've brought many alocasias back from a corm before. I have a handful of mellows that I had potted up that are all from corms, so yeah, hopefully it enjoys living in the prop bin for now because that's where it's staying and then down here in the corner i just have more cuttings from my hoya sunrise um i love this plant and i really want mine to be more full than it is because currently it's only two vines and i would really like this to end up i think being a trailing hoya for me i have it kind of on a trellis now they're actually wrapped around like two chopsticks. I think this one would look really pretty hanging and I really want to sun stress them because they look so pretty when they're sun stressed and I really wasn't into sun stressed Hoya until I got my Obscura. So yeah I'm hoping that I can bring this out more now that it's more under grow light. In this propagation setup I have cuttings from my goldfish plant because I was killing it in the pot. I also have cuttings of my Hoya Australis, and that's developed the pot that I have of it now. And then I have some Mikan's cuttings from my mother plant that gets out of control pretty quickly. And then this is a chop of my Philodendron Florida Green that was growing tall. Um, it didn't have a moss pole, so I had to cut it because the leaves were getting smaller. And then last, I have just a couple propagations that are in water. Um, I have, uh, it's just Hoya carnosa that I have rooting in water right now. It did come from soil and I just broke that chunk off this leaf, great. Um, it was in soil and then it started to rot. So I just pulled it out of the soil and stuck it in some water. Uh, pretty low effort. I'm not really like working hard to try to make it grow better, <laughs> so. We'll see if it makes it. This is my Marble Queen Pothos. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite plants, but for some reason, I can't keep them alive in soil. I don't know why. Um, I've tried chunky potting mix. I've tried more dense potting mix, and they always do good when I root them in water and then transferring them. They just are never happy. So this is kind of like an endless battle of rerooting it, putting it in soil and it rotting, and then me rerooting it again. So 
this is currently what I have left for mine. And then back here, I have both cuttings of my Manjula pothos and of a global green. And they're just kind of in a tall vase um, rooting up. I had both of them potted up, but I took cuttings of the global, global green and I was giving them away to some of my local plant friends. And then I had my Manjula potted up, but then it ended up uh, getting root rot. So I just cut it up again and stuck it in water. I don't know why. I love pothos so much and I just feel like I constantly am rotting them. And I can take care of so many other plants, but pothos just really aren't, aren't doing good for me anymore. <laughs> Which is sad because they are one of my favorite types of plants ever. So those are all of the propagations that I currently have in my collection. Um, as the weather starts to warm up, I'm really going to be looking to take props of different plants that I have now, um, including like my philodendron gloriosum. Um, I want to eventually chop my majestic to kind of give it a fuller pot and fuller moss pole. But yeah, just different plants that I have in my collection that I would like a bigger pot of. Um, I'm really looking to start adding and like filling out those pots. But if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more plant related content, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified of when I make new content. But for now, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.